He's donating the money to kids in Africa. Why the f isn't he not gonna win? I'm gonna lie in the Big Brother house, obviously, to win this game. It gives me a rush. I am lying every single time I open my mouth. I'm meeting 20 people this way, 20 people this way. There's 15 conversations going on at once. Come in. Cody. Cody? Go ahead. Like nice to meet you, brother. But um, I don't give a damn about meeting these people. I'm trying to get my hand in the game because I'm leaving with the grand prize no matter what. Sadly, I vote to evict Joey. Thank you. My boy Cody's really down in the dumps. He almost won HOH. It didn't happen. No big deal. I need to keep Cody's head in the game because he's safe. I'm safe. It's all gravy. Yo, we got to go out there. We got to be happy. Devin won it. Yes. 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 High spirits, bro. High spirits. I am not gay. <laughs> But the bond that Frankie and I have is so genuine and sincere that I truly feel like he is my boyfriend. Frankie, can you just like caress me? I like gay people. I'm straight and I only date women, but Frankie is just the, one of the greatest people I've ever met. I'm laying there dreaming about jelly beans and unicorns when he starts spilling the beans about everything. All right, guys, who goes home? There are two subdivisions of the bomb squad. There's the supporters of Devin, AKA the idiots. Then there's the non-supporters of the dictatorship, the firm believers that Devin is insane. The only person that wants to break the is Devin. Yes. Leo, yeah, right, exactly. You like Britney, you like Britney. I like Britney. She's a strong player. She had beer goggles on. She's still been better than Pal. Go be Pal. Devin thinks he runs this alliance, and we're doing all his bidding. I've had enough of it. We have a voice too. We all want Brittany to stay, and we want Pal Pal gone. Devin, we're sick of it. Whichever two power Brittany, whichever one of them stays, we're reeling in. That's another vote for us. Next week, one of us is going to win your age, and we're not going to write Devin. Simple as that. That being said, it's not a dictatorship. We are together. So if it's Powell and Brittany, who do you want to go? Well, Pow is by far the weakest player I've ever seen on Big Brother in my life. Right. And you know, Pow, you know, I have nothing personal against her, but I like Brittany more, so I want Brittany to stay. What are you talking about? I decided to open my mouth, tell him the truth, crickets. So I thought it'd be smart to stick up for the rest of the bomb squad in the HOH room. I think I opened up my mouth a little too much. Now I'm on Devin's radar. I think I got some explaining to do. So like, I have said stuff that I didn't really mean, you know, and, and I come to you personally and I tell you, you know, you're my friend inside this game, you're my friend outside the game. I'm gonna be loyal to you till the till the end. And I don't want you to ever question that, okay? Yeah. I wanted to let you know that, all right? All right, so you're saying that you were one of the people that said that you wanted me voted out of the house. Is that what you're saying? I, it came out of my mouth. Yeah. Did I mean it? No. Right before the veto competition, Devin turns around to Pal and says, if I win the veto, I'm using it on you. He can preach as much as he wants about how uh, we all have each other's back, but no, he has one person's back and one person's back only, and that's his own self's back. He's not for the team at all. Congratulations, Devin. You have won the power of veto. I don't trust you right now. That's the problem. And you're wearing an alliance together. You want me to be straight up with you? That's all yeah, I'm yeah, no, you. I want you to be straight up with me. Cool. That's all I Can need. Can we talk to know. it out or no? Not, not right now. I need to just right, get cool. a pulse from everybody. I'm screwed. I'm in Devin's crosshairs, and I got myself into a huge mess. Devin, he's like, yo, man, I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. I'm like, I was just being honest. So you were freaking out? Because I'm, like, I was just honest. That's the way I was going about it, and I got nothing to hide, but clearly that's not working. Uh, are you surprised? <laughs> What did I say that was so bad, though? You told him that you disagreed with him. But I didn't lie, though. Right. Why have armed you lying? <laughs> Why are you telling the truth? I don't know, dude. It's very simple. You told him, I disagree with what you're doing. Now he doesn't trust you. 
he's crazy. I thought by me telling him that, that no. it was building trust. No. I just want to say, listen, like, I literally trust you more than anyone in this house, okay? And I just, I don't want you to me over. I'm not you okay, over. Okay, okay. I'm not myself okay. over. Okay. Like, going down the right. ship when you okay. decide to tell the most unstable person in the house the truth. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to get myself out of this. I have no idea. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to figure it out. And when I have a good idea, I'll let you know. Bro, like I know, I know you're sitting there bitter because I said that I like right now I don't trust you. So at least I'm like telling you straight up, like I don't trust you because it's like you're walking around throwing me under the bus a little bit, bro. Sorry. I've only been honest to you. At the end of the day, dude, you don't think that I already know? Like um, afterwards, I, I pulled your side. I'm like, yo, man, I might have said some stuff, but it's not what I meant. But then you know what you do though, bro? When you say this stuff, then you come and tell me so that I don't hear it secondary. Because when I hear it secondary, then I told it's you right after, bro. Right after the meeting. No, 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 but this has been like for days now. Because that's when things get twisted and turned. So now it makes me look at you and be like, all right, man. All I can tell you, bro, is I've only been 120% honest with you. And if you want to put me on the block, you do it. Well, that didn't Put me even, right that, there. That didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> you just said it just now. Okay. Well, I'm telling you. You're digging your own grave right now. Fine. Bro. I don't care. I don't care. Grave. Clearly, I don't care. All right, I'll do. That wasn't even on my mind. If Devin is stupid enough to put me up on the block, I'm taking Devin down. No doubt about it. So Zach, gotta put you up on the uh, block, brother. You are the replacement nominee. All right, my turn. I never liked Devin in the first place. He hit me with the first jab. That gives Zach Attack the green light to come back with an uppercut, and I play dirty. I'm going below the belt. I might have to blow up some other people's game. Frankie, don't feel threatened. Pow, you suck at everything, straight up. It's no big deal. It's true. Devin, there's not an ounce of truth in your body. So there's no chance in hell I'm going home, letting you know that now. Every single person on this couch, I know you're gonna vote for me. I'm not worried. People on this couch, I'm not really sure at this point. Frankie, I don't really know, but I really hope you vote for me. Caleb, not so sure either. But all you guys know in this room, I'm not going home. Devin, your personality changes with the blow of the wind. I'm going after you. Everyone in this house should be going after you too. Yep, it's cool with me. No one is ever going to vote for you in the jury. All he does is smile with his fake smile. And uh, I'm, now I'm just like ranting on about how much I hate Devin. <laughs> but um, you're a huge liar, dude. You called the house meeting, crying over your daughter. I would never compromise my honesty or integrity for any amount of money. And you do just that every single day since. Perfect, dude. So what's your response to that? Uh, best of luck to you, bud. All right, touche. Woo! If the house knows that my only goal in life is to get Devin evicted, there's no way that they're gonna vote to evict me this week. Ah, that was wonderful. Woo! <laughs> Okay, explains to me why you're smiling at me right now. Dude, don't be upset, dude. Everyone still trusts you. Not anymore, thanks to you. Are you serious right now? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't understand why you would do that. Bro, I, I it was just, it just came out. Like, I mean, I didn't mean anything by it. I have no idea why you would do that to me. It's just terrible. I don't think it's as big a deal as you're making it. I was your friend, I had your back, I was telling you. You still have my back. I everything. Have your back. Nothing changed. Yeah, well, now you have to work twice as hard to keep me safe. I will. I'm staying this weekend, you know I have your back 120%. <sighs> okay, so I, 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 didn't, I didn't break anything. I just sure. tell me, okay? I think I took it too far. I need to make sure Frankie's still about me and Frankie. My apology to him is completely sincere. But I shouldn't put you out there. That was my fault. Wait, stay I here. can't. I have nothing to say. All right, dude. Oh my god. 
I love all of you guys to death, you 12 voters. Um, it is in the best interest of the house to keep me safe because none of you are my target. My target is that man right there. And uh, if you guys vote to keep me safe, I will do everything in my power to make sure that he is evicted from this house. So when you walk into that diary room, <laughs> please vote to evict Paola. Uh, Thank you. By a vote of 10 to 2, Zach, you are safe. Paola, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Zach Attack is back. Pow Pow, see you never. Devin's no longer HOH. There's a 150% chance that Devin is the next one out of the door. Um, <laughs> You're a huge liar. You lie to get yourself out of lies. I'm not sad to see you go. Uh, good luck with the rest of your life. Come on, Zach. That's 28, oh, baby. No. Eight. Sorry. That's all right. Eight. Sorry, Zach. Step down. Donnie, you're up. So I hear this rumor that I'm Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. You know? I'm not gonna say she's not. And this is hilarious, and I love it. And I'm gonna make every single person in this house believe it. Derek, what the heck are you doing? You're two moves away, you're standing right on the two, all you gotta do is walk up to the freaking ledge, win the competition, be the hometown hero for the house. What the heck, bro? So this love triangle going on between Caleb, Amber, and Cody is very dangerous for my game and for Cody's game. I don't want to lose an alliance member over a stupid love triangle. Zach. Oh! What's up, Hello, Zach. Three weeks in? What has surprised you the most about living with all of these people in such close quarters? You know what, Julie? I'm not the friendliest person. And, you know, there's a lot of people on this earth that I really don't like. These, <laughs> these people right here, I especially don't like. And, you know, I'm biting my fingernails every day, trying to get over the fact that all these people are extremely annoying. <laughs> well, you're doing it with a nice attitude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, Zach. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Devin. Thank you. With 11 votes to evict, Devin, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. You're possibly the worst player in Big Brother history because your social game was god awful. Goodbye, my friend. We got this, bro. We got this. Amber and I are neck and neck with Cody and Frankie. There's one reason why I'm competing, and that's for my little broski. I'm bringing home the paper, I'm gonna be in that HOH room, looking at that monitor, down to all my little minions, who I'm gonna pick off one by one, on the way to 500K. Congratulations, Cody and Frankie! You've won the competition! It's kind of funny that all five of us are in here right now. Why is it funny? It's just funny because the bomb squad was originally eight people. Essentially, Caleb, Amber, and Devin, they're out. This is kind of the residuals. We're actually five. We're actually five, and this is the five. Because the eight-man alliance was a mistake in the first place. Yeah. Five-person thing can work. Yeah, and this can get us very far. So if we solidify this and we give it a name and, and we make it official and we all have each other's back no matter what till the end, we're all gonna get very far in this game. The bomb squad is dead. It's time for Zack Attack to make a huge move and solidify an alliance of five strong players to help this guy win this game. So what's five are gonna be like, we're gonna be set in stone with a name, I love it. Yeah, yeah. no, we need to do this right this now. This is exciting. This, this is, is exciting. Really exciting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <exciting. laughs> so what would it be? Let's not this up, squad. Yeah, let's just. Let's, That's uh, what our name is. The Jiggly Jokers. <laughs> what? That's so stupid. The Jiggly Guys, Jokers. Why do we? Fine, Christine. You got any better no, ideas? No, I don't have anything better. Bomb Squad was a good name. Jager Bombs. How about the Detonators? Oh! <gasps> I, I like love that it. a I lot. Love it. Up on the block. Just because I'm not shoving my in his face. Oh! <laughs> 
The truth comes out! Brittany is without a doubt the target for the detonators this week. She can complain all she wants, but unless she wins the power of veto, there's nothing her or her boobs can do to save her. She's going home, no doubt about it. Zach. It's time for Zach Attack to be the man like I've always been since the day I was born. Win the power of veto. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Zach, go claim your fourth place prize. Germany vacation. Oh, wow. I always wanted to take my beautiful girlfriend to Germany, so I think I'm gonna keep the prize. Yeah. To all the single beautiful ladies in America, if you would like to accompany Zach Attack to Germany, it's free. Power <laughs> Caleb is a love struck, Fruit Loop Dingus Fooligan. Yes. Hey, what can I say? I vote to evict Brittany. Thank you. With 10 votes to evict Brittany. You are evicted from the Big Brother house. Bye, Britt. See you never. <laughs> Brittany, your yes. housemates taped some goodbye messages. Oh, God. Let's watch. I've seen these before. Brittany, oh, thank God you're walking out the door. It was better for my game to make sure you were gone. You were a great person and we became kind of friends. However, if I never see you again, I don't really care. The winner will be the second HOH. Zach and Christine, here's your song. Zach, you rang him first with Battle of the Block. That is correct. That was Night Moves competition. Congratulations to you, Zach, and to you, Frankie. You two are the new heads of household. Zach, in the final seconds, this is your first time as HOH. First what time? are you looking forward to? Uh, I cannot wait to see a picture of my little brother and uh, a letter from my family, obviously. Very nice. Thank oh my god. That couldn't work out any better. <laughs> wait a second. Do you realize in the finals it was all dead <laughs> I'm just waiting. I've got one main target. Her name is Amber. Why, you ask? I had a little birdie chirping in my ear this week telling me that Amber is coming after all the guys and most specifically, yours truly, Zack Attack the Beast. I'm tired of being a blood for all of these guys. I can't Um, so she wants to work with Nicole and I to get the boys out and that's their first target. <laughs> and you said yes, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get the first jab in and make sure I send her home before she gets the chance to send me home. My bad, Amber. <laughs> oh, Amber, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Do you need ice? Here, do you need no. ice here? Oh, did you oh, hear it right in the leg? Goodness. Yeah, that's it. Hurt. Do you need no, ice? No, I'm good. I promise. I'm so oh. sorry. You okay? Yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm a, sorry. I'm a tough one. <laughs> Yeah, give her a hug, Cody. I mean, I know that was the best hug I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. We're gonna be okay. Who's gonna cry harder? That's that's the best question. Okay. Do we have a target? Okay, but I think you have to be the one. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, you knew winning this in the first place is always gonna be rough. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna get blood on my hands and I'm fine with that. I like, I wanna get blood on my hands, dude. I don't, I don't want Caleb pissed at me. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a good, listen, it's a good play for my game, for Zack Attack. I don't know if it's a good move for everyone else, but. Cause you can do whatever you want. No one's gonna question it. They're right. gonna be like, you're a lunatic. Yeah, exactly. I'm stoked to be HOH this week. All I wanna do is send Amber packing out the door. Bye bye. Hasta nunca. Good talk.
Congratulations. Thank you. You too. Congratulations. Did you want her in here or do you want to just talk? Yeah, to no, I do want to talk to her. Okay, actually. good. All right. Oh. You're going to have to take one for the team this week, girl. No, yep. no, I yep. didn't hear that. Yep. No, You're going to have to. I didn't hear that. What happened? You're going to have to. Why? Somehow, somehow, something's in the air. You have a severe case of narcolepsy. And in this BOB competition, you are going to fall asleep and lay on the nope. ground. I won't throw it. What is this? Listen, what is this? Okay, let's just play with some plan. Okay. Amber's coming after me. I know this. For sure. You have to put her up. I have to put her up. So you, you, you. I'm not gonna throw it. I'm extremely disappointed in Christine at this point. She brings nothing to the table. All I ask of her is to just throw a competition and she tells me no. I'm frustrated, I'm irritated, I am beyond pissed at you, Christine. Earn some stripes for the team. You really won't do it, Christine? No. This is, this is, this situation's f this You know what, I need to put my robe on because I don't think I'm thinking clear right now. Dude, uh, it, it, it's game time, bro. How do I put this? People that don't pull their weight in an alliance get left behind, or should I say, evicted. I really like Nicole, she's extremely gullible. And if Christine doesn't want to play for Team Detonators, step up to the plate and do something for us, I'm gonna mess with her game a little bit. Between you and I, I wish I could just tell you everything. Cause there is something. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And I trust you not to tell anyone. I don't tell any anybody anything. How much do you trust Christine? I trust her. With 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 your life? I don't know about my life. I don't think I trust anybody in here with my life. You trust her the most out of anyone in this house? Are you guys in an alliance? We're strictly friends. Really? Did you want to talk to me at all? No, not really. Not maybe tomorrow. Amber. Thank you very much for coming and waking me up at 5 in the morning. I'm not too pleased. However, I'm going to do you a solid favor, and I'm not going to put you on the block. But, I am going to backdoor you. With my nominations, I'm ready to bathe in blood, baby. I don't care what anybody thinks about my nominations. Zack Attack is here to play. Let's go. The first house guest I have nominated for eviction is... The second house guest that I have nominated for eviction is... I've nominated you, Christine, and you, Nicole. Christine, if we pulled out the Big Brother Dictionary and we looked up the word floater, it would be a picture of you holding hands with Gen City, basically irrelevant. Nicole. Oh, Nicole, you know so much about this game, and you look super cute in your Germitard. Like a true super fan. Well, you Fruit Loop dingus, I bet you didn't see this coming. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Can I call you Fruit Loop dingus? Oh, no hard feelings, I guess. That's good to know. Amber is without a doubt my target but the only way to send her out of this house is backdoor city. I put Christine on the block because she's not really playing for the team and I want to rattle her cage a little bit. <laughs> You're cute. You guys talk it out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My reign of HOH may be over. The hurt. <laughs> yeah, good one, guys. You didn't even get me. However, watch out America, cause Zack Attack gets to play next week. Christine and Nicole are having nuts this week, and uh, I'm feeling like I haven't agitated enough people today, so I need my daily fix. What are you gonna say, you're not gonna say anything? I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food in front of their face. But what's up guys? Just eating my beef jerky and Starburst. Oh, I forgot, you're a have not. Oh, oh my God. I love you. Love you. What's up, Zach? What's up? You guys want any Starburst or beef jerky? Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. I'm trying to see what's up. Just trying to eat some slop. I guess that's what you get for being lazy. 
I think if you put him on the block, he would blow everything up. Everything. Yeah, maybe you could, maybe you could do another speech at the veto meeting. <laughs> Maybe I could what? Do another speech at the veto meeting. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, okay. At the end of the day, I really don't care, so... But I'll do that, you know, for, for me, for you, for us. Yeah. Will. Uh, who wants a back rub? Me. Oh, I got you, bro. You want one first? No, yeah, I don't need one, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I just want to give you one. Frankie is one of my closest friends in the house. I'm not gay, but if I was, he'd be my man for sure. I smell blood in the water. Yo, Amber, what's going on with you and Caleb? Yeah, you might, you might have to, uh, you might have to talk to him. Well, what's going on? Just I've already tried. I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna like when I've tried like talking and I've like tried to clear things up. I'm not going to continue to go out of my way and you just ignore me. Like I'm a human <laughs> being. I'm here. Why'd you guys break up? Oh my! Oh no! What? I'm just. I'm serious. Zach. Like, so is he just blowing things out of proportion? Oh, yeah. Boom! She gave me everything I needed. Next up, stir beast mode cowboys pot. So when she was up there, she's like, this is what she did, this is what I'm telling you. She goes, he's completely blown everything out of proportion. Like, it's not even a big deal, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. I was like, do you, I was like, do you want me to try to talk to him? And she's like, no, no, what's up? I don't care, hold on. Hmm. She said she tried to talk to you. Oh, and then she was like, she's like, I'm a human. When he walks by me and acts like he ignores me, like I'm a human, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, I don't know what that means, but for a man to put all his trust in you and tell you things that he doesn't tell anyone else, it's pretty ridiculous what y'all are doing. Yeah. Mission accomplished. It is too easy. Oh! Ooh. Victoria, I've chosen to use the power of veto on you. Amber, as a replacement nominee. Veto meeting is adjourned. Wait, hold on. I want to say something. I need to say something real quick. While I have everyone here, um, Amber, you're sitting right where you belong, and you're on your way out the door. I couldn't be happier. Beast Mode Cowboy has saved you twice already in this game. He risked $500,000 for you, more than all your boyfriends have spent on you combined. When you were both have-nots, not everyone gave you their blankets. Beast Mode Cowboy gave you his blankets. And then to top it all off, he ate a pickle. A freaking pickle. The food he hates more than anything in the world nearly threw up all over the kitchen just so you would go on a date with him. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No? Huh, that's funny. Because that's exactly what you've been saying to him this entire summer. It just really pissed me off and I'm sorry, I, I had to say that, so. Welcome to the club of Zach yelling at you. Do you believe everything she tells you? In my heart, do I trust her just as much as I trust y'all? Yes, I do. And what are you doing with it? On it. That's great. Caleb, Caleb, stay in the front. Say, Caleb, 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 we want to talk to you, bro. Caleb, we want to talk to you. Caleb, please, dude, Caleb. Get him, get him. Tell him to come in here, Frankie. Caleb. This house is getting blown up. It's blown up, dude. And I want to turn to Zach. What's up, Julie? Zach, you had a lot to say at the nomination ceremony and the veto meeting. Yes, yes I, yes, I did. Why? Why the outbursts? You know what? I can never keep my mouth shut. Again, I just want to reiterate the fact, all you people in the room, I hate all of you with every ounce of my body. And uh, yeah, that, that's how it is, Julie. It is what it is. Interesting strategy you have, Zach. Very interesting. I actually, I take it as a compliment because I like Fruit Loops, and a ding dingus means adorably quirky, so thanks, Zach. You're welcome. <laughs> Zach has made it his mission this week to backdoor Amber, but he's proven to be unpredictable. Hi, Zach. What's up, Julie? Please cast your vote to evict. I gladly vote to evict Amber. Thank you.
with nine votes to evict. Amber, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Amber, in the event that you were the one voted out tonight, mm -hmm. your housemates taste some goodbye messages. Okay, good. Let's look over here Where? Oh. and listen. Amber, <laughs> I'm extremely happy that you're gone. I know you were coming after me, and this was better for my game. <laughs> I don't regret anything I said at the veto meeting. I just wish I had more time to ether you even more. <laughs> House guests, we're going to a tiebreaker question. The two people who come closest to the correct number will be the new heads of household. Here we go. In seconds, what was the total length of the Giddy Up veto competition from the official start to when Hayden hit his button? Okay, everyone, I need an answer, please. The correct answer is 568 seconds, which means congratulations to Nicole and Donnie. The two of you are the new heads of household. I storm off the court, act like I'm pissed. I couldn't be happier. Losing this competition is in my best interest. I don't want to win two HOHs back to back weeks and put a huge target on my back. I just did my math wrong. What am I? What am I stupid? Sign me up for the Academy Awards, because I just won the best actor in the BB house, baby. Was like, what was no the one, answer? Five, five hundred. 500. <laughs> All right. What's up? Nothing. First of all, congratulations for winning. Thank you. Second of all, if you need someone to put up, you can put me up. Oh, really? Yeah. OK. And that'll be my favor. So I tell Nicole to put me on the block, but this is all part of reverse psychology. I want her to make a stupid decision and not put me on the block. Earlier, I tried my reverse psychology approach with Nicole. Don't feel too comfortable with that. Now I gotta talk to that dingus and just convince her that putting up yours truly is not a good idea. I don't want to be put up, obviously. But if I do happen to put you up, do you understand why I'm putting you up? I mean, you better not, but... The next house guest I have nominated is... Perfect. Zach, I wanted to keep up the tradition of using the Big Brother dictionary, so last night I looked up supervillain. I only saw a picture of Evil Dick. You're way too cute and innocent, and with everything that happened last week, I think you saw this coming. Zachary. <laughs> Sorry, you had to go up my ass. Sorry, I'm gonna do my best. She wants us to play a game of cat and mouse. Well, she looks like a mouse, and I'm as swift as a cat, so I'm coming for your head, Nicole. You can nominate me all you want, Nicole, but I know that I have my team on my back, and I have the numbers to stay. Okay. Yeah, I've been better. I've been better. So next week, when I win HOH, you better bet your bottom dollar that you're gonna be sitting on that chopping block. Getting ready for my celebratory, you know, intercourse date. Mm. So, yeah. If Jocasta and I can win this, we will be safe for the week and we will dethrone Nicole, which would be amazing. <laughs> On the other side. The third and final punishment in our path is slop for two weeks. By far the worst punishment. However, I'd rather be on slop for two weeks inside the Big Brother house than be on the outside eating like a king. Keep going, let's go, keep let's going. Go. Just fix these, just, just fix these. these. How did that possibly happen? We were so freaking close. Now we gotta pick up all the domino pieces, do it over again, all because the stupid curve. If I would've just put one domino, because we were perfect till the very end. Oh. 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 Jocasta was relying on me. 
But now, Jacosta, I'm sitting next to you on the block, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that you go home, and I don't. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm, don't, please don't, please, please don't. Okay. I'm extremely dissatisfied with losing the Battle of the Block. What makes it worse is that I lost to Victoria. The game I play in this house definitely puts a huge target on my back. However, it all comes down to that POV. The power of veto this week is huge. Good job, Sam. Yeah, whatever. Good job, Sam. Caleb, please stop. You are not in a worse situation than me. I'm sitting on the block. Yes, I got beautiful hair. But I'd shave my head, armpits, legs, and toes to not be on the block this week. I'm sorry, dude. Surviving is what counts. Not your pretty boy locks, you fruit loop dingus bust a fool again. So I'm competing against a bunch of losers in the veto competition. If I don't win this thing, you can call me the biggest fruit loop dingus in Big Brother history. If I lose, I'm sitting on the block, possibly going home on Thursday. Time to put on the cave and save the day for Team Zack Attack. I'm very, uh, versatile. I'm on fire. I'm feeling like if Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man all had a kid somehow, that was me. I got all my comic books on the laptop. I'm rolling. I got it wrong the first time. Let me just give it another go. I'll figure it out the second time. This has got to be it! I'm looking at the comic books, and I can't see the freaking difference. I swear I have all of the right comic books up there. I was livid. At this point, Zack Attack turns from good to evil, about to be on the dark side. This one, she's holding a purse. This one, he's wearing pink pants. This one, there's a sausage at the bottom. This one says Zach in the background. This one, the missiles are red and white. This one is not it. I'm sorry. This one, he's wearing pink pants. And in this one, the yellow. So unless I'm missing peace, I finished it. My mind is all jibble jabble, joggled, jigga craggled. My game is just falling into shambles. I've never been so frustrated in my life. Are they not in the right order? Damn it! Ah! Damn it! I had Victoria and Donnie's comic book covers switched around. Leave it up to Victoria to mess up my game, you freaking dingus. First, I tell Nicole to put me up on the block, idiot. Then I choke in the B.O.B. Now I just ruined my chances of winning the power of veto. Oh my god. Oh, you idiot. I blew it. We'll be right back. Team, you have won the Golden Power of Veto! Losing this veto could possibly be the worst thing that happened to me in this game. However, I may have called Christine a floater, but she's the only person that can save Zack Attack's game from devastation. I've never loved you this much in my entire life. Christine and I are both in the detonators, and we have the numbers to make sure I stay. It's in her best interest to make sure the nominees stay the same, and everything will be gravy this week. Jacosta, don't let the door hit you on your way out. All right. So a grasshopper walks into a bar, and the bartender says, we have a drink named after you. Then the grasshopper says, you have a drink called Bill? <laughs> Wait, 
not use the power of veto. This week, all I gotta do is not mess up and I'll be safe. If I can potentially sleep all day, eat a lot of food, and brush my teeth, I'll be staying this week. But first, thinking they were both safe, Jocasta and Zach went to sleep, literally, blissfully unaware of the plotting, scheming, and flip-flopping behind their backs. Everyone's rolling Zach out. We might have to send Zach home. Yeah, people are on board for Zach getting out. I thought for us it was all in numbers, and if we stay true and we are loyal how we're supposed to be loyal, we will make it far. Oh yeah, we're I'm, we're, I'm, I'm ride or die with you guys to the end. So I mean, if that means we're, we're, voting we're, out we're, whoever, we're voting out whoever. Yeah. Okay, so you want us to keep Zach? I think we should. My pants. Literally, my pants. Double eviction night. That's right, everybody. Before the hour is up, two of you will leave the Big Brother house. But, Zach, you're up. Geez, Julie, I don't have anything planned. Roses are red, <laughs> violets are blue. Everyone here is great. I love each and every one of you. You've all touched my heart, and for that, I'm so grateful. Maybe I'll change my ways and not be so hateful. We've all made it to jury. We're on the right track. Viewers at home, please hashtag Zach Attack. House guests, <laughs> I'm begging you. Please give me another chance. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, my name is Rancy Pants. Your decision tonight is crucial. The wrong choice may cost you. So when you walk into that diary room, please vote to evict Jocasta. No. Uh, thank you, Rancy Pants. Rancy. With six votes to evict, Jocasta, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. During the BB Cup competition, how many prize trades were made? Were there more than, less than, or exactly four trades made? Answers, please. The cor final answer, everyone. The correct answer is for trade rate. The only people left in this competition are Caleb, Christine, and Zach. Everyone, Frankie, I need you to reset before stepping down. Yeah. Zach, yeah. please reset. No, 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 Frankie. Answers, please. The correct answer is less. It was two times. Sorry, Zach. Reset, Zach. Congratulations, Caleb. There were 24 puzzle pieces. You are the new HOH. Wow. Are you guys wake me up? Here we go. When this uh, show's over. Whew. She makes my best friend Hayden. Hayden, Donnie, take the hot seat. Hayden and Donnie, thank you for taking the nomination chairs. Zach is the first one to find a rubber ducky. Donnie has found his first rubber ducky. Zach making his way down with his second rubber duck. Donnie with rubber duck number two. Donnie has found his third rubber duck, making it down the home stretch. From congratulations, Donnie, you have won the power of veto. Everyone, please head inside. Donnie, you have just. Nicole, sit next to your boyfriend. 
I guess that's that for the show, man, guys. It's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's have a cookie party. You guys down? Donnie, you down? I'm down for some cookies. Zach skirted eviction earlier tonight, so who will he send to the jury? Zach, please cast your vote to evict. You know what? I vote to evict Hayden. Thank you. <laughs> Hayden, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Yo, what do you guys want for dinner? Don't cry. Nicole, don't you hungry? Don't, don't cry. Please don't cry. Things can change. I'm here. I'm happy. Nicole, you want to dance with me? Uh, Dick, you know I don't like you. I'm not gonna pretend to like you. Why do you? Why don't you like me? What have I done to you? You're gonna torture me from here on out. Why would I Can torture you? Can you leave me you? alone? I don't want anything from you. I, mean, I can make you a egg sandwich. I'm You wanted Zach out yesterday. Nicole is throwing Frankie under the bus, and I'm kind of believing her. I don't know why Nicole would be doing this if it wasn't true. I have no idea what the puzzle says, but I'm gonna ring in as fast as I can, and if I win, I win. I got a 50% chance, so uh, I'm gonna roll with it. I'm sorry, Zach, it is incorrect. I could've read it like a freaking dingus. I am extremely pissed that I lost. Let's just hope I can do some damage control and uh, stay safe. Come here, come here. Nicole is HOH. We just sent her boyfriend packing. It's time to brown nose a little bit, do my thing, and uh, look out for myself. At this point, I have nothing to lose. I know, I um, don't either. Yeah, obviously you knew, you, knew, you knew about what the bomb squad in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I already know about that. Then we made the detonators like two weeks ago. Me, Frankie, Christine, Cody, and Derek. Two weeks ago. I was supposed and to I'm have an alliance with Cody. I'm very happy that we, really? Yeah. We had an alliance. It fell through today. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so happy we had this conversation. Yeah. What are we gonna do about it? Frank, you already came in here and told me who I need to put up and all that <gasps> stuff. Cody, Derek. <gasps> Zach, Caleb. If you put two of the four up, Caleb, Zach, Cody, Derek. Oh. Each of you, then regardless, now we have to come together. Oh, I know. Because you know everything about my I game. And I don't know everything about your yeah. game, but you don't really have a game right now. <laughs> I know. Dude, Frankie, Ado, Nicole, you have to put up Zach, Caleb, Cody, and Derek. No. I swear to God, he told her that today. Today, right after she went to HH. Frankie's dead to me. He was my closest friend in the house, dead to me. Yeah. You're a huge liar. You're a huge liar. I'm gonna leave it at that. Both of you. Both of you guys. I'm super pissed I was nominated. I put Frankie and Christine on blast today because I don't want to be associated with either of them. Never fails. You see? I'm not talking to Frankie or Christine for the rest no, of the oh, summer. Oh. Christine nominated me. Frankie stabbed me in the back. I'm not talking to them anymore. They're dead to me. I'm not talking to you. Why are you so mad at me, actually? I'm actually confused. Yeah, there's nothing to be confused about. No, seriously, though. What? Seriously, what? Well, why are you so mad at me? I don't have to explain myself. You don't? I mm -hmm. have to? Nope. Okay. I don't have to explain myself. I'm just not talking to either of you guys. Okay. I honestly don't even want to be in the same room as you guys right now. Okay, I'll leave. Frankie's been talking a lot of crap about me, throwing me under the bus. Why are you following me? Just so you know, I'm the reason you're still here. And my game was blown because you're still here. So, just so you know. Frankie, I have nothing to say to you. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Hold your breath, save it, because I'm not listening. 
you're going home this week. Sorry, I'm not sorry. My epic plan for this battle of the block is for Caleb to throw the competition. So Donnie and I gotta get this show on the road. We gotta tailgate to get to. Amber's gone because of you. You lied. And you know it. Him under the bus. Yep. You throw Cody Amen under the, the bus. Truth. Ain't you that done the it. truth? You done it. Yeah, and I was gonna. Ain't that it. the truth? There's no. So play change by yourself. So what happens when you break trust and loyalty? This right here. I'm sorry, Frank, but you've done this to yourself. On your mark, get set, hike! All right, ready? Up. <laughs> We're not in sync right now. I'm focusing purely on mine and Donnie's game. I don't care what's going on in Frankie's world, Yes, thank God! You guys are tied. If Frankie gets a touchdown, he wins the game. If Donnie and I lose this competition, Frankie's gonna be safe, Christine is gonna be safe, and I'm gonna be on the block. This sucks. Easy. Yeah, we gotta get up there, Donnie. Zach, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You make fun of me to everyone. Zach, I make fun of you to, okay. Liar! Well, guess what, I'm a safe liar. So I just lost in the battle of the block to one person. But Frankie, you're gonna get yours one day. I promise you that. Really wanted to send Frankie home this week, but he won the battle of the block. Now I could be going home this week. You know, Frankie was my best friend in this house. I feel absolutely betrayed. I'm hurt, I'm heartbroken. I'm extremely pissed off. What? Stop staring at me. Zach, if you're gonna be like this, then go somewhere else. I'm right here, what? in my living room. What What have you heard? You've been talking about me this entire time. That's not true, I've had your back. No, you haven't. Unlike you. Yeah, unlike me. Are you serious? Come on. Zach. It sucks. It does suck. It sucks when you lose. You, you lie to everyone, dude. You go behind all of our backs. Oh my God, it's Big Brother. I'm just saying, I'm calling you out for Fine, it. Fine, I'm gonna admit to it if you shut up. This is Big Brother. I know, and I'm calling you a liar. I know. Okay, I'm glad that everyone knows that now. I'm sorry. Perfect. Are we done now? It's Big Brother. Everyone's a liar. <laughs> okay. Like, you're just the biggest liar. Fine, sure, I'm the king liar. Or, but the that I'm hearing is not true. And Dude, you're, a, you're lying right now. You're back this whole time, bro. You knew that. I had your back No, you haven't, time. though. You're still here because of you're me. You're not the reason why I'm here. I am. There is uh, girls in the house that are in power that say you said you got to put Caleb, Zach, Derek, and Cody up. Is that true, Frankie? Is that true, Frankie? Yeah. Okay, it's true. That's all I need to hear. I understand that that is not exactly the best thing that could possibly have been said by me. You think? It's literally pathetic. I'm done with you. Okay. Like, it's over. Fine. All of us over. Did you not? Well, I, I, yes. You're a huge manipulator, and you turn your back on the four people that had your back. I've given you literally my big brother life on platter. I have, you know that. I'm a YouTuber and a TV personality and a social media mogul. I walked into this house with 1.5 million followers. Are you even gay? I'm very gay. All right, I'm dude, surprised. honestly, I thought I was gonna say it first. Frankie, you've built a house of lies. You betrayed me, you hurt me. I don't even know what to think anymore. Who, who are you? What's my sister's name? I am playing this game for a charity that I represent and it's called Build On and uh, I'm using the money that I get from this show to build schools in Africa. So he tricked me. He tricked me once, he's gonna trick me again. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it is extremely relevant that he's donating all his money to charity. Does it upset you or make you happy? Obviously it's a strategy if he's telling us. 
because he didn't have to tell us that. He's playing for a charity. I have no chance. I have no chance. This kid's playing for children in Africa. What? Wouldn't he win? I don't want to talk about it. This guy already won fan favorite. He's donating the money to kids in Africa. Why the isn't he not going to win? Give him the money. I'm wasting my time right now. I'm pissed off right now. It couldn't be worse, but I just need to stay focused and keep my head in the game. My bros say that I'm safe and Donnie's a target, but you can't trust anyone in this. Sorry, Donnie. You have been eliminated. Sorry, Nicole. You have been eliminated. I start digging in this dirt like a truffle pig. Boom! Devin comes up out of nowhere. Thank you. Sorry, Christine. Beast Mode Cowboy and Derek. They're my bros and all. However, they were trying to get me out of the house last week. I gotta win this veto and flip the script this week. Sorry, Derek. Good luck, Beast Mode. Good luck, bud. This drink's inspired by one whose brains were a-lacking. Her looks couldn't save her. Nine votes sent her packing. Beast Mode Cowboy's little princess that never was, Amber. Get it, Zach. I know that I saw an Amber here. I gotta find it, I gotta get back, gotta win this veto. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, holy God, this is crazy. Good job, Caleb. Good wow. job, Zach. Zach, what drink have you brought me? Oh, Tab, you Fruit Loop Dingus, I brought you Amber Eater. The correct drink is Amber Eater. Congratulations, Zach. You have won the power of Vito. Take that, Penguin. You're a freaking punk. Congratulations, Zach. You've won the power of Vito. So here it is, boys and girls. The golden power of Vito. When Zach Attack needed it, he got it. Oh. I marry this thing. I feel like my wife just cheated on me. I know. I know. I know. But how do you think I felt? I can do a little acting myself. If Frankie wants to hash it out, come back to old Zach Attack, everything can be all gravy. Let's do it, boo-boo. However, if I get a chance, I'm gonna take him out. I lied to you and told you that she said it just in case if she told you that you would think it would come from her and not come from me. I respect you for telling the truth. Thank you. That's it. I mean, bottom line is, I told her right out. That's big brother. That's the game. That's why some of us are just taking it a little too out of control right. and, and so making what, it a little bit so, too so much what of I a said big deal. To I didn't even say anything, Zach. I did not say anything to anyone. I got called up in here because you said something to Derek, and that's how everything started. Before that, no one knew anything. She did not come to me. Why were you crying to me? I wasn't. You were crying to me and said, of course. Derek just cheated on me. He betrayed of me. Of course. But, okay, what do you want me to do about but it? Why would you go and tell Derek that Nicole said lies? I trust. When you told me not to say anything, I said, okay, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you and I didn't go to him. Right. To you him. told me to keep my mouth shut and I said, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you and I didn't go to him. But then when you go to him and tell him that and then he confronts her, of course it's going to get around. Okay. Hey, Fruit Loops, time for the veto meeting. <laughs> You're a huge bro, there's no denying that. However, this bro's gotta look out for numero uno. So I've chose to use the veto on myself. So I'm gonna take this knife out of my back and I'm gonna return it to its owner, knowing that it can't be used again. So I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm gonna have to ask you to take a seat. This thing is hard when you lay on your back on it, ain't it? Oh, this is awful. I feel like I'm on my last leg right now. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I've been alone the whole time. Yeah. I get to sit and watch y'all shoot pool and left out of the conversation. I don't spend a lot of time with Donnie in the house, but it's nice to share the misery of being a have-not. Donnie's a great person and he feels very alone in this game. And I honestly, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Not that I'm giving up. You know, no. I will fight. Yeah. What in the world did I bring in this house that scared people? I have no idea. I think it's the beard. Fear the beard, Donnie. <laughs> Fear the beard. Fear the beard. Zach? We saw you and Frankie at each other's throats this past week. A uh, little bit, a little bit. Where do things stand between the two of you now? Uh, you know, Frankie is a great person. I hate everyone in this house again, but I hate him the least. <laughs> Zach and Donnie bonded this week over being have-nots. Will Zach find it in his heart to keep him safe? Hi, Zach. What up, Julie? Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Nicole. Thank you. By a vote of six to zero, Nicole, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Hey, Nicole. See you never. The correct answer is A, St. Giesling's Hospital for the unwell. Sorry, Zach. Reset and step down, everyone. Reset as we move on to question five. The correct answer is A, three times. Congratulations to Derek and Frankie. Yes. The two of you are the new heads of household. What's your opinion on the whole situation? In my opinion, not only do I not feel comfortable, but it's too late in the game to throw a conversation. I, guarantee, I understand that I will be guaranteed safety, but I just can't do that. I've done it. If the only option is whoever's up with Donnie throws it, let's play rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and let's figure out who's throwing the competition, right? All right, then I'm volunteering. Simple. Right, but you don't have to like, do that. Because you guys have been just attacking me the whole no, time. It's not, me, no, no, me, no, no, me, me. So I'll volunteer, I'll throw volunteer. it. I don't want and you I'll to. trust that you guys keep me. No, I don't want you to volunteer. Yeah. Just literally just pour a bunch yeah, of Skittles yeah. in there. Huh? A bunch? It's, it's Why not stupid. just one of each color? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, we're each yes. a color. Yeah. And the person that comes out is the person that has to go with Donnie. Okay. All right. I don't know why we just didn't do that 30 minutes ago. I couldn't be more stoked that I don't have to go on the block, let alone throw a competition, and let my fate rest in the hands of the people that wanted me out of the house two weeks ago. Everything is wonderful. Congratulations, Christine and Donnie. You have won the battle of the block and are now safe this week. I'm okay with that going home. Before Christine. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. I say we send Zach back. <laughs> you pull it out again, you <laughs> son. <laughs> I hope you get drawn for veto and win. And you want me not to use it? Well, I haven't heard nothing. I'm always out of the loop. But for your sake, you know. Yeah, I know you're right. Yeah, so they don't backdoor me. But I didn't say anything, and I haven't heard no, anything, no. but I'm just trying to think of you. Mm -hmm. Donnie brings up a good point. He really wants me to play in the veto and win so I don't get backdoored this week. He's scaring the out of me. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna go up, and he's really just putting the idea in my head that, you know, my alliance is against me. You're an animal. Thank God and good luck. I'm not stupid. I know I caused a ton of trouble in the house. Zach Attack's blown things up, torn things down, and aggravated every single person in the house. If he was smart, he would try to get out me Cody or Derek to better his game. I'm just praying that he goes through with the plan to backdoor Victoria. I just, I, you can only promise so much to so many people. You know what I mean? Oh, 
try my best. It's just too easy for them to say they're going to put Victoria up. They don't want to give her up because she's weak in competition. They yeah. want to keep her around. Right. So I'm hoping they don't go for you. But don't say nothing to them. Because who knows that they might keep you. We hope so. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Okay, we're on top. The BB paranoia is really setting into my brain. So I'm just praying that Frankie goes through with the plan and puts up Victoria and we send her out the door. Yeah, Who is it? What do you call someone who's not afraid to cry? Wears pink and cuddles with men. <laughs> you call them Zach. take whatever people dish out of me. But Kathy Griffin ripping me to shreds is not something I prepare for in life. Congratulations, Frankie. You have won the golden power of veto. So Frankie wins the veto, and I should be really happy, but I'm actually kind of nervous. Frankie and I have had our ups and downs, but we're extremely close. I don't know what he's going to do, and I don't want to go up on the block this week and get sent home. I did her shirt! No! 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 It wasn't that serious when the hats were going missing. No big deal. Caleb's cowboy boots go missing. Kind of a big deal. Messing with the cowboy's boots. Then my gator shirt goes missing. Now it's a really big deal. Listen, they've taken each of our prized possessions. I'm not leaving without their head on a stick! I swear it wasn't me. I didn't hide people's stuff. I'm not the saboteur. But what the hell am I going to do, man? How am I going to prove to people that I didn't do it? You took my boots, you jamoke. I wish. I'm going to go take a nap. You guys enjoy yourself. I'm good. good. You're caught. Am I, though? You're caught. But you think we're stupid? Hey, if you're so smart, where's your... <laughs> you're caught. Because in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. Well, we'll show you Thursday you're proven guilty. This is an extremely serious situation because people honestly are actually starting to believe that I am the saboteur. Like, I don't know what to do. I swear to God, if I get put on the block, because you guys think I'm the saboteur. We're on to you. I found it! Wait, I gotta go out there. Something's going on. No! No! Yes! How do you guys believe that I didn't do it? No! I am going to the FBI straight after this! It wasn't me, dude! What a horror story. Oh my god, weren't they finding? Under the trash, like Cody said out there, remember? Wow. I love how everyone thinks it was me, dude. Well, of course we think it's you, Rose. It wasn't, though. Oh, come on. It really wasn't. Zach, just stop. I'm gonna take a page for my best friend, Zach, attack. Euthanize, that's the word. Euthanize. What is it? Euthanize. I want to euthanize him. Oh. Rather than cut his head off. Zach. I want to like give him the slow drip until he slowly goes to sleep. You are demonic. And Dude, demonic. you're fucking intense. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. I yeah, want to euthanize that's, him. That's not, not murder, but euthanize. Oh, okay. It's, it's, still, a, it's still a form of murder. I feel betrayed by Frankie straight up. I've been with this guy since day one. As friends, as an alliance member, I've had his back. And this is how he treats me. It's the worst feeling in the world. Wait, I gotta go out there. Something's going on. My best friend in the house puts me up on the block. It's not a good feeling. I need three votes to stay. I'm down by a field goal. You know, it might be a 62 yarder with the wind in my face. Anything is possible.
Look at the gray in my beard right there. That wasn't there when I was back home all day. All that gray? Donnie and I have been talking a lot this last week. I really hope the bearded one has my back. You want to keep me? Oh, absolutely. I, I, pro I promise. Okay. I promise. Right, they won't be that makes me feel like I promise. You got my vote. OK. So now you need to think about who you've got here that can help you. Yeah. Because I'm one person. As long as I have your vote, I'll feel comfortable. Oh, you definitely. Okay. So maybe I found a true ally in old Donnie Joe Thompson. I know I got at least one vote. I got to go out there and try to get two more. Mm -hmm. So if I told you I would never put you up and I would never vote you out, would that change your decision at all? For me, no, nah, probably not. Why do you think it's better for your game that he stays over me? I think he would put me up over him. I would have your back over Cody's back. I'd have your back over Christine's back. Frankie, do you, do you agree with me? No. You, you, really? We've already experienced your multiple ways of getting us to hate each other. I don't want you to come at I me. I don't want to come at you either. No, but you're. But it's fine, dude. Like, no, I don't want I'm to. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to try to campaign. I have none to lose. So you. I just don't know why you, like, why I, I went up, dude. Oh, that's so cute, babe. Is that for me? What would we do without love, you and I? I love you. I would be nothing without you. I love you. What is she doing? Christine, Christine, get me a knife, please, now. Don't run with a knife. This is my hat, sorry. Yo, did someone take my hat? Who, who took it? Was it Victoria or Christine? Can I have that hat back? Nope. No, are you going to keep it? It's my hat. All right. We can play those games. There's no games. It's my hat. It's right. my property. OK. All right. See how it is? Got a lot of balls, Victoria. This whole hat thing, not going well. Victoria's a voter. She's kind of kicking me while I'm down. Pretty sure I don't have her vote this week. <sighs> Your hair looks really cute. I hate it. I need a hat. What do you mean? <sighs> I need a I need a woman's hat. Victoria, you don't want to give me the hat back? Really? Are you gonna wear it? Maybe. You're not gonna wear it. You just don't want me to have it, right? But you treat me nice. You're just doing it just to piss me off. Not really. Yeah, you are. I'm not it's stupid. Not... I'm not an idiot. You're doing it to piss me off. And you're doing a good job. Zach, it's my item. You're not gonna wear it. Okay. You went out of your way to piss me off. I need my pink hat. I'm nothing without my pink hat. Zach, you're up. All right, um, mom, dad, Pezzo, I love you guys. Can't wait to see you. To you, Fruit Loops. I say I hate all you guys. That's not the case. I strongly dislike all of you, and I hate one of you. Uh, you all suck, and uh, I might not be walking out of here with 500K, but I'm leaving a winner. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Rancy Pants, R A N C E Y P A N T S. Julie, I'll see you shortly. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you, Zach. Zach Attack. Zach. Zach. My boy, Zach Attack. I vote to evict my number one hater, Zach. By a vote of five to zero, Zach, you are evicted <laughs> from the Big Brother house. Listen to that. Well, he's oh, dancing
around right Dude. now. Dude. Wow. See you never. Talk about an exit. You were prepared. Did you expect anything less? No, I didn't, actually. I, you're right. Let's talk about the game. You were the founder, the founder of the detonators, yet you were the one who got blown up tonight. Oh, yeah. Why do you think they turned on you? Uh, one reason, because I couldn't keep my mouth shut. So you're saying it was your own fault? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I can't blame it on anyone except myself right now. You said in your last plea speech, I dislike all of you strongly, but I can't stand or I hate one of you. Yeah. Who are you referring to? Oh, Victoria. I want to make that clear. <laughs> Victoria. She stole my pink hat from me, Julie. It was her hat. I know, but she said I can have it. And you know what? No one gives good haircuts in the house. I needed a hat. She took it back from me. She kicked me while I was down, and that's uncalled for. What, truly, what was it about her? Was it really just over the hat? No. It was a, a laundry list of things. <laughs> Care to share any of the uh, things? No. Okay. <laughs> Happened to Zanke? I don't know. I honestly really don't know. Where I, did the two of you go wrong? I put all my wrong? trust in him. I put my game in his hands. He had my game in the palm of his hands. Put all my eggs in one basket. And uh, we were talking in the HOH room about how, how great everything's going. Everything's going perfectly. And, you know, I guess I, you know, I didn't see it coming. I couldn't keep my mouth shut. And I talked a lot of crap about people, and that was my game. And I'm not going to stray from who I am, and uh, it bit me in the butt. Wait a minute. You said that was your game, and you're not going to stray from who Zach really is. Right. So that wasn't strategy? I mean, the Zach we saw in the house, is that how you live in the outside world? No, that's not how I live in the outside world. <laughs> it's really not. I'm a very lovable guy. But um, I don't know, Julie. I just I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to play the game. and. Um, I thought if everyone hates me enough, they won't give me the satisfaction of sending me home. <laughs> Clearly, that was not the case. Greatest romance this show has ever seen. Really? I, you guys I, think I, that? I, I said, why don't you I want to euthanize him oh. rather than cut his head off. Zach. I want to like give him the slow drip until he slowly goes to sleep. You are demonic. Your housemates oh, take some wait. goodbye messages. I can't wait. Watch and listen. All right, let's do it. Zach. You play out this mean bully persona, but honestly, you're the biggest crybaby I have ever met in my life. And I am so grateful that I don't have to be a babysitter anymore. See wow. you never. Zach, old buddy, you may have went off on a lot of people and made them mad, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. You are definitely Love the most that. entertaining Love person that. in this house this summer. I will truly miss you, buddy. Miss you. I just want to tell you one thing. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> oh, and by the way... I deserve that. Look what I have. <laughs>